Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi. Today in my bench I have this audio set for car. It is made by or branded KMC. It's 12 volt. It's written here 14.4 volt. The working the working voltage. But it works with a 12 volt. It is made for Hyundai cars. So you can find this kind of of unit and this kind of model on all the um, Kia Rio and maybe other uh, models of Kia and basically Hyundai also you can find this kind and the problem in this set is the buttons as you can see doesn't push they are stiff and stuck right uh, in their housing this is working fine this is barely moving right and this is also barely moving this is frozen frozen working fine and also and also this selector this is a turn selector and push selector button it is electronic it doesn't work whatsoever not like this one which is working fine as a customer said it doesn't load the CD well and it doesn't eject the CD so there is a mechanical problem in the uh, CD mechanic and that is what I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to repair uh, I'm going to connect this to a power supply a 12 volt battery and see what happens but first I'm going to pull this hood up as we can see I pulled the hood the hood up very easily because there is two screws these two over here and they are not been has been installed someone was in here definitely because they, these screws are missing as we can see there is already a CD and basically I don't know it's going it's turning and it is turning easily what is this maybe to, just to zoom in a little bit there is a twisted or twisted metal around here or uh, this type of metal this is used also as a spring and basically from what I see here someone bend this metal which is hold put pressure on the uh, magnet sandwich magnet for the sandwich disc magnet or the, uh, or the uh, CD sorry the CD in this type of, uh, of mechanic uh, they made in order to re uh, retain the CD in place it make a sandwich of uh, plastic and also metal this plastic also hold a, a, a magnet uh, disc and also when the CD is loaded and installed in place this magnet uh, make a sandwich with the other uh, uh, plate and sandwich the uh, CD in uh, between the two sides and the side will rotate and this bent uh, uh, metal as you can see uh, it is, has been someone put the pressure in this uh, area over here and bend this so I'm guessing this metal will will make a friction with the rotating uh, 
disk and that what I'm going to find out when we are when I power the unit up and here is the VCC to this unit has been uh, connected you should use all with this type of model the two pins the two side pins I can just rotate the unit the upper two uh, pins one is for permanent voltage and the second is for the um, uh, switch voltage and because it is uh, I'm going to test this unit it doesn't matter if I switch it or not I'm going just to crimp them together and I use a alligator clips alligator uh, leads to power it up and comes in me I use the, the the wrong colors okay this is positive and the negative goes to the chassis now I'm going to power this unit up using a 12 volt battery as we can see okay and it is making noise but it is not rotating so and no CD it is saying no CD and if I push this no CD so it powers on So let me pull this assembly out and see why these pin, uh, these keys are frozen and push uh, push it all the way in and see if we can remove the CD or what's up with the CD figure it out what up what's up with the, the CD So here is the for, uh, front panel has been removed and as you can see um, it's not broken there is hinges here and here in the sides and that is a stupid design but it apparently uh, apparently it works so there is no broken keys and this key is not broken this control key it's not broken but it's not clicking like this one as you can see this is clicking this is frozen so I'm going to open it up and disassemble it and see try to see why it is not clicking but apparently there is no broken parts the only broken or frozen parts I believe it is in here and for some reason it is ticking so as we can see if we zoom in a little bit there is a traces of uh, grease or uh, some sticky stuff it's oozing from this side so basically um, I believe this is a uh, dirt issue or uh, uh, yeah this is as you can see whoa, whoa my god this is whoa wow this is some kind of uh, glue or gluey uh, thingy and this what hold the keys from popping up so this is issue has been will be taken care of later now and look at this dirt wow this is a problem it is a common problem in car audio <coughs> sorry in car audio uh, units or car audio systems the dirt because it is a car and basically it it uh, run on the road and road are the air is not clean enough so 
there's a significant amount of dirt as you can see Oof. so I'm going what I'm going to do with this and if we take a look at the CD it is boy it is dirty but the CD it is spinning freely I'm going to connect this and try to put up the CD and see if these uh, frozen keys are affecting the work of the mechanic or not so here is the front control has been installed in place and this is a clean front control a very clean board I'm going to connect the power if we you can hear it the motor it is spinning but there is no control over the or any control in the mechanic so I'm going to try to power it up okay. no CD it is stuck it is stuck so I'm going to pull this board up and try to disassemble it and see if we can fix this machine or not so in order to remove the uh, mechanic there is one screw over here and the second one the third and the fourth four screws need to be removed and you need to remove the the cooler the font cooler the font dash aluminium alloy cooler and you will need to remove one two three four five six seven seven screws in order to remove the cooler and this is a cooler by the way it's an alloy it's not uh, aluminium and it is not font it's an alloy a mixture between the two and this is a mechanic the board in this side looks clean it is clean it's similar to the Alpine yep it is similar to the Alpine actually it is the same like the Alpine I have a similar Alpine mechanic Wow, it is similar to the Alpine mechanic, yeah. I have an Alpine CD7394, I believe, the number of it. And this is a similar mechanic. Let me get that mechanic and see if, they, if it is similar or not. And this is the Hyundai mechanic, as you can see here and this is the Alpine mechanic it's very similar yep it's very similar what the hell is that what did he do the two mechanics are exactly the same wow exactly the same 
and I believe they have the same lenses. Yep, the same evil lenses. So this is mechanic I already cleaned a while ago. So I know it's medicine. This is not going to be a hard work, but I'm going to remove the PC board and try to clean it and see why it is sticking and clean the lens on on my way. Yep, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. So, in order to remove the PC board, the main processor C uh, CP board, PC board, sorry, you need to desolder this, uh, what they call it, multi-wire ribbon cable or ribbon cable and in this case it's not ribbon cable like this this is a plastic clear plastic cable you need to desolder all of these in the same time and carefully disconnect the the lens ribbon cable you pull you pull this hinge up out and you remove it and I did this because basically you will need these two uh, uh, wires these two wires in order to control the motor these two wires are directly control the motor they feed the voltage to the leads of the motor so after this has been assembled disassembled I'm going to remove the spring this sp spring over here There is something broken in this. No, it's not broken. It's not. Uh, it's just tied. And I'm just trying to. I will try to remove the CD first. Trying to feed it with uh, power. And try to remove the CD. To activate the the motor, so let me remove this unit over here and work on this mechanic separately. So after wiggling, wiggling up, first I connected I connected these leads. I'm sorry, I made a mistake in pointing pointing or pointing the and here's the two leads of the uh, motor the loading motor and uh, not like the uh, the leads which I previously uh, pointed at the leads for the motor is these two and I connected these through this modeler which is feed uh, 3.6 volts and in order to control the uh, voltage for the uh, loading motor and <clears throat> after a few tries 
I managed to remove the CD. There is a problem in loading the uh, in the loading mechanism. Uh, so I'm going to remove these two screws and pull this uh, assembly out and try to clean the hinges and remove all the old grease and put some new grease. After I remove the two screws and I pull this assembly out, look at the size and the amount of uh, amount of dirt in it and this is basically sticking this does not need to be sticking in any way and look at the the dirt and the dust oh my god well this is a car mechanic and you can see how dirty it is Wow. So I'm going to pull this out and relubricate all of these and remove all the grease. So here is the CD loading rubberized. Um, what should I? What should I call it? This is the CD loading arm rubberized arm or rubberized spool that it is gear driven by this little gear over here has been removed and as you can see it is the dirt it's all over the place it's very dirty and if we take a look at the uh, the kind of dirt and it is exist it is very very heavy dirt and this dirt stick to the gears and it doesn't let them spin freely if we if I zoom in a little bit And if it's a sing focus, as you can see, look at the dirt. Wow. So I'm going to remove all of this and clean it. And then put some grease in it. And then reassemble the entire, the entire mechanical parts together. But the curious thing as I was going I'm going to I, as I was assemb disassembling it I noticed that there is a uh, a bearing it is supposed to be exist in this area over here and it is not exist this is a one millimeter axle and there is a bearing with a flat end in the in the base of it and it does not exist and if we take a look at the uh, other mechanic that came from the uh, clarion uh, sorry the alpine here is the uh, uh, this is the copper uh, the copper bearing as you can see in the middle of the uh, image in here so it is exist and uh, someone remove it because there is no trace that it is fell a uh, fell in the uh, uh, mechanic whatsoever so if we I examined the, me the mechanic on all sides and it does not exist so someone pulled this assembly out and tried to fix it 
and he did not put the bearing in, in its place. So either I'm going to find one in my scrap or I'm going to uh, make one for this assembly in order to work because the, the, the role of this uh, bra uh, uh, bearing is if we take a look here if you can see it there is the bearing should go into this uh, this hole around here as you can see and it will slide so that when this metal uh, bracket and when the motor spin this gear uh, this metal bracket is going to slide and it is going to when the um, when the mechanic is ready to eject the CD this will engage the uh, uh, the mechanical gear in this gear over here in this gear over here on this side or disengage it and this allow this to pressure put some pressure on the other side the downside of the CD in order to push it uh, push it out to eject it so if this brass bearing it does not exist this cannot be driven through this gear over here so someone did remove it someone idiot did remove it this is a problem if you don't know what you are doing don't do it but there is a lot, a lot of people just do it for for money and they they have no experience in dealing or disassembling all this kind of mechanic and they end up doing a lot of damage beside doing any good so I'm going to clean this all the dirt up and maybe I will disassemble the uh, um, the Alpine mechanic just to see what kind uh, of uh, brass bearing it is exist and what kind of shape it is I have an idea about the shape but uh, it it's better to have a working prototype in order it is easy in this way so you can make you another one as term of the size and thickness and this uh, the, the the construction of the bearing and as you can see I remove this metal bracket this metal holder and I rebend rebend the uh, the bend in this metal bracket and it is now spinning freely as you can see so I'm going to clean it up put some uh, grease lubrication uh, grease on all of the gears and try to disassemble the uh, Alpine mechanic and see what kind of bearing brass bearing there is so I can make one so this is the uh, gear gear housing has been removed as you can see around here you need to remove these two screw and the uh, this bracket over here plastic bracket and the entire assembly should just pop off as you can see it is not that hard okay 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 and here's the complete gear assembly has been pulled out and reinstalled after I clean it all up and as you can see I put some grease thermal resistance grease and I lubricate 
and I grease up all the joint in order to can work smoothly. Now I'm going to show you how it works after powering up the motor. And if we remove the uh, just let me pause this and reverse the polarity of the uh, uh, power for the motor. Now I reverse the polarity of the power for the motor and I pull, I put this bracket in a full load in a, in a loaded disc position and now I'm going to power it up and let you see how it will engage. Here we go. And so this part has been taken care of. Now I disassembled the Alpine CD in order just so I can see the shape of the bearing which is this little guy over here now this is a small bearing and if this camera would focus it a little bit come on come on okay here we go it's basically if I took it out it's basically a uh, a bearing with one millimeter diameter inner diameter about two and a half millimeter out diameter with a bearing uh, with a uh, not a bearing with a washer so uh, this is hard to create by the way but the only way to create this put a washer and drill it with one millimeter and put this uh, bearing on top of it free but this will will make an, another issue that it will fell out and why it will fell out because this bearing will be held in place by the washer because this bearing will be held in place by the washer so this will be a very interesting <laughs> try to make this let me just check my junk box and see if there is something is similar to this and I will be back so if I take uh, I dig around in my junk and I couldn't find uh, a bearing like this but what I found is this motor screw and it has it had a long shaft So, with a little bit of grinding, this will replace this bearing nicely. As you can see, using a micrometer, this has a diameter of uh, 45 so if we measure the diameter of the screw this has a diameter of 80 so it can be filed down to the desired thickness but this will work very well but this process is going to take a long time so what I'm going to do I will steal this or take 
this bearing from the uh, Alpine uh, gear or the Alpine mechanic in order so I can assemble this and I will make this one and even a better material than this one because this is a Japanese uh, screw and replace it for the other mechanic because the customer who owned this he is in a hurry just to get it I don't have much time in it but this the Alpine it is basically has a uh, burn electronic circuit board and cannot be repaired but this can be replaced for the other and this is the bracket for a, another video no sorry and this is the bracket the CD eject bar has been installed and this is the uh, bearing has been greased up and installed I'm going to install the two springs that goes in both side of the CD eject bar loading bar and install the upper mechanic and assemble this entire mechanic this entire mechanic is now fixed and lubricate and clumsy me I forgot to install the selector guide so I'm going to pull up the loading bar again hmm. thanks God I detected before I installed the entire thing now what does left now what it is left now is to install this upper gear and install the other brackets install the electronics and this and try it before I install and I will try it before I install the electronics just to confirm that everything is working fine and like it should be but I'm betting with a hundred percent of a hundred percent that this mechanic is now ready to be installed and it is ready to be and it is in working condition <sighs> so this mechanic has been installed and now I'm going to try to stick a CD in it and see if this CD is going to be loaded loading or not so here is the complete mechanic has been assembled and I put a CD in it just to try it on and there is a slight problem with this mechanic is uh, that the motor sensitivity is a little bit low so I boosted up the power uh, from 3.6 volts to 5 volts and even I boosted up to 6 volts as you can see this is 6 volts and it is still spinning right now I'm going to switch the polarity and see how it will eject, eject it, eject the CD. Here is the polarity has been reverse it. Wow. Now I'm going to reverse it again in the loading position. And this is the loading position.
Wow. It seems to be working fine. So I'm going to install this bracket, reinstall this bracket and assemble the electronics and this unit is ready to go. So Here's the complete mechanic has been assembled, the electronic has been installed, I forgot to screw this, the only screw that holds the entire assembly. And I'm going to try it in before I clean up this, the main board. So here is the mechanic has been installed in place just installed not screwed in with the screws and the front control panel has been installed in its jack I'm going to power it up and see if it is going to work or not powering up Radio is working, but it's not important to check the CD. There is a green light that means there is a CD in. And of course, this is not an audio CD, this is a motherboard CD. But however, what this can be tested, the CD can test if the mechanic is loading or not. Now, I'm going to install a CD. And voila, it is working. Let me just see where the This is not working whatsoever. Let me just see. Seek forward review. Seek. And it is not like okay. Let me just there is no forward. How is the forward working the same? Track seek track. Okay, seek track. Okay, just let me publish this video, but it, apparently it is working. So I'm going to publish this video and try to figure it out what the controls are not working. Well, I pull up, pull out the CD, I ejected the CD and basically if I push on radio position, if I push any of these keys, it's not working. So either the, this uh, a broken key or is a problem or not I'm going to pull this key out and see if it is going to make any change so I pull up pull out this key over here selector key electronic selector key and I'm going to power it up and see if the malfunction or we can control the tracks speeding or skipping tracks okay let me pull the CD 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 
Oh, it's this button over here is the CD control. Okay, it's loading. Okay, let me just and we have a winner. So this key is the malfunction one and I believe it is shorted from the inside so I'm going to fix this one try to disassemble it and try to fix it and fix the sticky buttons and reassemble the entire thing because this unit is now fixed yep it is fixed so I disassembled the key, the electronic key, and if we zoom in a little bit, there is traces of uh, oxidation in the contacts. Now the selector, it is basically okay. There is no damage. But the key, this push button key, it is a little bit, it is basically a uh, rubberized key and basically it is worn out. So either I'm going to repatch this or badge it in some way or I'm going to find a replacement for it. Either way, this key is going to be fixed and it can be fixed, but it's going to be a challenge to replace this so I found and let me zoom out a little bit I have Sanyo soft buttons like these and I open one of them and I took the uh, inner internal uh, push button and it is like this one just let me pull it out a little bit and this is the internal of it as you can see we zoom in a little bit it's almost the same diameter like the original bar one but it is softer and even it is close to the height and this will work but it will not click in the same way like the original one will do but it will work so I'm going to install it and see what happens so here is the switch or the control electric control whatever you want to call it the electronic selector has been installed and has been assembled sorry and I hooked some and I hooked some alligator clips to the leads of the VOM and here we go, if we push on the button it is working uh, so here is the key has been assembled and installed in this uh, in the front control panel and now I'm going to power it up 
and see if it is going to work right or not. And this is a CD. Okay. Maybe it is a selector. Okay. Okay. Oh. It control the uh, the base, okay. Cool. It is working. So I'm going to clean these, the sticky ones, and I'm going to install the board in place and assemble it. So here is the unit, is now all back together. I install all the, the screws and the missing screws I replaced them with the new ones uh, now I'm going to hook it up to power and see what happens okay so far it's so good powering up And here is the CD. And the CD is playing. Okay. Of course, because the CD is a little bit scratched. This is the A track and it is okay. Let's try the the selector key that I fixed. So it is working fine. And so this unit is now fixed and if we take a look at the the CD we could find some scratch it some scratch on it so I'm going to replace it with another CD clean one okay and it is working fine let's check if it is going to skip this is nine it is working fine so this unit now is officially fixed i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this, this video give me a thumbs up please like and subscribe thank you for watching